As you enter Ilderton, there's no mistaking who are the most famous of the 1,500 plus residents. It's exciting for us to, you know, be able to see him compete at the World Championships. Monuments with the Olympic ring colors are erected at all four entry points of town. And at the Ilderton Arena, it's much of the same. The support from the Ilderton area, you can feel the support in the fans in London and it's so heartwarming. In 2010, while Scott and Tessa were winning gold in Vancouver, their hometown jammed the local community center. They were dressed in red to show their support. This time around, most of them will be at the venue. So it's going to be a little bit harder to um, fill the community center. I think that I believe the local restaurant is going to be doing the viewing. Um, they've got the yellow wave t-shirts and I think that the whole town may be yellow by the time Worlds comes. These two are the story. Tessa and Scott have twice finished runners-up to Americans Charlie White and Merrill Davis this season. But here at home, they'd have to be considered the favorites. We feel like we're in a great place. We've done some new work on a lot of our programs, so it should be a very fun week, and uh, hopefully the fans will notice that uh, we've been training hard. When they stepped onto the ice uh, before each of their three performances in Vancouver, the crowd erupted even before they started skating. Well, here they're home. And the, the, the building is going to be packed, and you can expect uh, at least that and more. Just seeing it at the Olympics when we ended up Vancouver and all the Canadians were behind them uh, really loud, and they kind of absorbed that energy, and I think it'll be the same kind of thing here in London. I think they'll take that energy and put it towards their program, and it'll be a great skate. Back in Ilderton, it's evident they're local idols. But after they moved away, fans have had to watch from afar as they've won multiple championships. Now... They're here, so close that those who've supported them all along can taste it. Brent Lale, CTV News.